What's up, y'all bunch of savages? I'm over here in Mesquite, and there's like three helicopters. Something's happened. There's one there, one farther in the distance, and one over to the right here. And they're all sort of triangulating on one area. And I wonder what that is. I wonder what's going on. I can't, uh, I need to look at the news and see what's up. The way the news has been going the past few days, probably an active shooter. I think there's a, I think there's a school? No, I think the school's more that way. But freaking shootings like crazy lately. Who knows, probably one of those. I can't think of any other reason why there would be a, three helicopters triangulating on one area. It's really weird. I'm gonna get over here and get nosy and see what's what's going on. Yeah, that one has gone back around now. The one that was over here all this time has gone way over there and it's making its way. Let's see how far I can go before the police have roads blocked or something like that, who knows. They ruin all the fun, man. Helicopter's still there. One's still here. And I don't see the third one. It could be over to my right. Such a small road, it looks like it might be blocked. Everybody stopped dead. Hmm. Somebody's getting out of their car? And everybody's turning around and coming back this way? What the heck? Turn on the news. This one here is a lot lower now. I'm over here by the Poteet High School. They don't seem to be hovering around that necessarily. But all this is blocked. See, this is coming from the other direction now. This is all blocked this way. I was over that way coming to like, coming this way and it was all backed up and now backed up this way. There's something going on over here. See, shows it on the, uh, on the GPS. There's the on-the-move helicopter again up that way. Okay, as I get close to whatever this is, I'm going to... I was going to say, I'm going to guess that it's fire because I'm smelling like something burning, but I'm not seeing smoke anywhere. That's the thing, you know, smoke's the first thing to see. I don't know. We'll get up here and see what's what. Yeah, I finally see police cars up there. Yep, I can see smoke, hazy smoke, like through through that way. Probably not seeing much smoke up in the air because it's so windy, it's just blowing it all to bits maybe. But it's definitely hazier through that section on that side of the road, or just down that way. So it must be something, there's uh, fire trucks, cop there, fire trucks up ahead. Channel five. It's like it's over, whatever it is. There's a camera guy walking away, so it looks like it's all said and done. It's like it was down there. Yeah, there's the smoke. It's all behind this building, you can see. Smoke, and they got a fire dude up there. Yeah, behind this mama's, something back there. Keep going. Dude, I want to get nosy and go around over there. Woo. Definitely something back that way. Oh, yep, there's a structure completely burned down over there. I don't want to get over it and get around. Look at all this water. My gosh. It's down there. That cop ain't letting anybody go down there, but I want to see. All right, so the look that I got of the uh, fire is going to be the best you're going to get. But uh, I had friends online that said that it was a daycare that uh, burnt pretty bad. Luckily, nobody was hurt, so that's good. But uh, structure is destroyed. I got a, I don't know if it came across on here, but I caught a glimpse through, and it looked 
look messy. I have a Uber pickup, so I'm gonna go pick up Mo. I hope Larry and Curly aren't with him too. That'd just be crazy. I don't wanna pick up any stooges. Here's, here's a bit of that fire that I saw today. This is a large fire. It's gutted a daycare in Mesquite. This is a live look for you. This is the Appleseed Academy off North Galloway near Highway 80. And I, I know parents and people are worried about the kids. We can tell you everybody was evacuated in this situation. No reports of injuries at this point, but we're going to show you what like looked like just a few minutes ago when the fire was raging. Firefighters had to take a defensive position because the fire was spreading so quickly. That means they got out of the building and, and started putting water on from the outside. They could not fight it from the inside and had to only fight it from perimeter, try to keep it from spreading, really. The daycare is in a mixed business and resident, residential area. The fire department considered evacuating nearby homes as well. Well, because those homes are right there, and you can actually see to, to the side. This is a strip center because the winds are very gusty as well right now. That's making it even more difficult for the firefighters. Thanks for riding along while I got nosy and checked out the fire. A uh, little bit of news for you. Hey, you know, when something happens, I get nosy. I want to go check it out. Anyway, thanks for watching. Y'all stay savage. Thanks for watching. Savage. Mr. Like, subscribe, and share, and send money.